Hello, um, I'm Nishan Piromswat. You can just call me Nick. For, I'm from P PDT Public Company Limited. And I'm working in the robotics, AI, and intelligence solutions team. One of our key projects is to support Thailand's industrial transformation. And we have made a coalition with many government players and private players as well in trying to drive industrial transformation. But first of all, let me tell you was why we need to do that. So, excuse me. Okay, I think Thailand has such a unique challenge in, in industrial transformation. Today, we are a big manufacturer, but we do not really have the understanding, the know-how, and even the infrastructure needed in order to make the industrial transformation happen today. Only a small portion of Thailand's industries are digitized, automized, roboticized. We want to change that because we truly believe that Thailand's competitive competitiveness in manufacturing hinges on the success of industrial transformation. So you've definitely heard of the four ages of industrial transformation, starting from mechanization, uh, the invention of the steam power, mass then onward through ma mass production, assembly line, electricity, then computer and automation, and robotics included. And right now, we have the cap capacity to move into a cyber, cyber physical systems, um, integrating fusing both the digital world and the physical world. Of course, 3D technologies are definitely key into, in making this happen, and it will become much more prevalent once the industrial transformation has been um, occurred. So, industrial transformation into 3.0 or 4.0 will completely transform the way companies can deliver value to consumers can completely change the way that companies can uh, interact with the new technologies. The economics of production, the economics of planning things, will, that will all be different. And that will both change what the products look like, but also how business is conducted with the new uh, industrial transformation base. Um, to give you some context about how Robotics, which is a pretty good proxy for industrial transformation as a whole, has been changing. China is actually a huge player in robotics. They have seen a 500% increase in annual robotics installations since 2012. And other countries have been leading as well, such as um, Japan, South Korea, the US. And Thailand can be considered a smaller player. Um, in, in the group of smaller producers, Taiwan has the highest volume of annual installations. Um, you can, as you can see from the green line on the bottom graph, Thailand is the yellow one on the bottom graph. There, we have to admit that there's a long way to go in adopting robotics and other technologies that will lead us through uh, a successful industrial transformation. Right now, there's only marginal use of robotics and ro automation. We, ha we have considered only 15% of the industry has already transformed to an, a state that we would say is competitive to the global economy. A whopping 85% of technology of production is still manual or semi-manual or only um, marginally um, optimized mainly in, still in the second age of industrial transformation. This is something that is worrying, but also it represents a huge opportunities for companies like Dassault, technology, other technology providers, and also companies who can implement the system, 
these technology systems for Thai manufacturers in order to help them uh, do the industrial transformation, namely um, system integrators, which we believe are really key in driving the industrial transformation. So our goal is to turn Thailand into a more value-based economy by restructuring the whole economy from a manufactory to a value-added uh, manufacturing powerhouse with advanced manufacturing. And we, and the mainly, the engine of growth towards industry 4.0 is industrial transformation, which PDT uh, is fully committed in trying to help make that happen. So you guys must wonder like how, how we want to do this in driving the industrial transformation. First, the key challenges of Thailand is that one, we lack information from the government. Um, in terms of the customers, there's a lot of things on the table that the government can um, bring to the table and pretty much just offer for free. There, for example, there's um, a, a budget in the range of billions of bahts that is to incentivize and subsidize activities in robotics and automation, but currently manufacturers aren't able to access that yet, and true, we want them to be able to access this funding and be able to transform and, and increase the competitiveness of the whole manufacturing industry. Second, players lack working capital in both the supply side, the, uh, the mostly small system integrators, which can't, don't really have a lot of capital to um, engage in bigger projects and do multiple projects at once, and also in the demand. Most of the manufacturers in Thailand are still considered SMEs, and they, it's really hard for them to carve out a large sum of their cash in, into investing in robotics and AI technology in order to uh, make them more competitive. So financing is a, another big component of what we want to bring to the table and have the industry have access to. Also, knowledge. This is a big one. The, most customers don't really know what they are lacking, the gap between what they are currently making right now and the magnificent possibilities which we want to educate them on that to make them see the opportunities and make them able to capture those opportunities. Um, definitely 3D technologies is a key component in ma making people understand, educate them, make them visualize and experience what their, the brighter future of more better manufacturing looks like and, and feels like. And also the uh, another big issue is source of funding. So what we want to bring, uh, we, what we have made is a coalition between both public and private stakeholders aimed directly at promoting industrial transformation in Thailand. On uh, February 14th, um, uh, February 8th, we have um, established the Industrial Transformation Platform Development and Robotics Automation Industry Dynamic Committee. This is main, uh, PDT along with other um, public um, entities, uh, especially those in the, under the, uh, the Department of Industry. We've made a coalition and we're trying to design a mechanism to help the industry uh, overcome this huge challenge of industrial transformation. And we've uh, already made this uh, uh, platform public on February 14th, and there were 190 attendees from 77 companies, both technology providers, system educators, and customers, the manufacturing people in the industry. We've discussed why Thailand needs industrial transformation through robotics and automation to become stronger and more competitive in the global scale. And also, we made sure to educate them on how robotics and uh, automation operations are occurring in the present, which players are key, and which players are responsible for what, both from the customer side, the demand side, and the supply side, the system integrator and technology providers. 
this is um, our pre preliminary uh, setup of the mechanism to drive industrial transformation. So one of the key components is definitely the technology side, the supply side, which includes um, technology providers like uh, in hardware, software, and also the people who would implement them, local system integrators, and also system integrators that have specific expertise in advanced technologies that we will bring in from uh, the international st stage as well. And the, the government can help with the, the multiple incentives, the making the regulation right for industrial transformation, really promoting and understanding the customers of what their unique challenges in trying to make the change happen and directly support them in a more uh, understanding way. Also, C CORE, which is the Center of Robotics Excellence, this is a government unit which will come up with standards on robotics and automation and also certify many players in the industry to make sure that the customers can access the quality technology that they need in, in order to make their production better. Banks are also a big part of financing and we have included them in this uh, platform as well, both private banks and public banks. And all together, we, this platform is mainly used to serve as an uh, information sharing um, mechanism to have the direct data from what customers are doing, what challenges they are facing. And on the uh, supply side, what, what kinds of expertise do they have? What capacity do they have? And so we can really um, bring out the right programs and match the right technology providers, technology implementers with the right customers and make and destroy all the barriers uh, stopping customers from doing industrial transformation. We aim to be a one-stop solution that we provide, we come into, we meet the customers and learn about their pain points, what their um, production, production processes look like, and, and since the customers don't really know what their uh, opportunities in, in using the new technologies to make their productions better, we will uh, be responsible for educating them and even go so, f so far as to create conceptual designs for the um, customers to see, then choose the right system integrators to um, execute these projects. As you can see, that design and simulation is a key ex uh, component in making the conceptual designs that, we, that I just mentioned. 3D systems are a b huge part into making this happen, and we're glad that Thailand is having increased awareness in 3D systems, which will definitely make our job easier and um, make people visualize what will happen through industrial transformation. And right now, we're doing pilot projects uh, for people who want to join this platform uh, free of def uh, fully free of charge. Um, Half of the projects will be um, mainly led by the Center of Robotics Excellence, and the other half will be mainly led by PTT. And why we're doing this, the reason we are doing this is because we believe that to create a platform like this and to make it really answer the right pain points for our customers, it can't just be a top-down ivory tower style um, decision making to Think, uh, assume, hey, this is probably what customers want, and so this is what we're going to make. No, we, we definitely want to prove that we can actually um, deliver concrete value in, through these pilot projects and really learn the deep insights, the pitfalls, the, the big opportunities in, in what happens uh, in a, a project where technology providers come in Come, come up with a concept design and bring va uh, transform the customer's processes and bring them uh, to a new level of value creation and value capture, which in turn leads to more profits 
and more competitiveness for the customers themselves. And once we are able to scale this, we believe that this platform can really enhance Thailand's competitiveness as a whole. Right now, the platform is still not mature. We are still in the pilot stage. And but if anybody is keen to know more about what we're doing about this platform, what our visions are, or how you may be involved in it for the detail, as both a customer, as both other uh, government uh, institutes that may want to be involved, and also definitely uh, you guys are mostly on the technology provider and system integrator side. We would love to have a conversation with you. So um, my team and I will be here uh, to, throughout the, um, the event today. And we would love to chat with you and really learn about how we can work together and really drive talent forward through industrial transformation. Thank you. Mm -hmm.